This is Jared with Sacred Boxing with my guy Xerxes from Ghana. Today we're going to talk about the jab. The first punch typically everyone learns when they step into the gym or for, uh, for fighting or fitness. And we're just going to talk about the elements of that. So, talking about the jab today, we're going to look at the elements of the upper body. Sometimes in boxing, we see the sins of rotating the foot on the jab. Sometimes we, I may see a person's torso rotate back and forth to try to generate power. And the jab is not necessarily a power punch. It can be at an advanced level, but ultimately, it's just a it's a range finder. It's a um, it's a setup punch as well. So we're going to look at that. So the upper body elements that we want to look for. First, we'll talk about the things that you don't want to do. So rotating the torso to gain more power. So the hands are up and we see a person throwing the jab here, going back, squaring off, back, squaring off, back. So you, you want to stay super sideways on this jab, the, uh, the guard up on the opposite side. You stay sideways, throw the jab just a touch. Good, good. And so the other element we're gonna talk about is the, the, the location of the shoulder. The shoulder, when you're in stance, your hands are guarding your face, your elbows are guarding your body. But as you relinquish this punch, the shoulder has to, the job and the task of keeping the guard uh, integral. So as Xerxes throws this jab, his left shoulder stays high, his chin is down. And if a punch came over here, he would be able to guard it from, from his, with his shoulder. So again, the mechanics of the feet with the jab, the faults that we see with, with uh, throwing the jab is the rotation of the foot, the front foot when you jab. And the reason why you don't wanna rotate your foot is typically wherever the toe points is where the punches will go. So typically, if the toe turns, you're giving up that integrity of the jab uh, more like a hook, a sideways punch versus a straight punch. And um, to combat that, we like to say either keep the foot still and you're generating power again from the rear foot. You can also step with the jab. So the step with the, the step jab is, is a good uh, alternative to pivoting the foot. And uh, we're just gonna look at the step jab. So on the step jab, you just want to, you don't want to put the full foot, foot down, you just want to touch the toe and get right back into position. It's only about two or three inches, it's not a very long step, you don't want to step too, too outside of your range. Also stepping with the jab helps to connect the low body with the upper body. That's always important as far as balance in boxing. So try it out, let us know how you like it. Like, subscribe, comment, and share. Thank you.